Hi everyone, I am back. I'm trying to record this video. So I'm gonna start off with welcome to another video for hashtag March Disney Madness. It's hosted by Luis Eileen and myself. We are just swapping with one another, but we are creating and inspiring for you to use your stash for any Disney crafty project. Um, whether you make it in March or whether you make it in the summertime, it's just hopefully you get inspiration. I want you to go to Luisa's channel and Eileen's channel. They are just making so many projects with um, their Disney stash and hope you guys could go over there and watch their videos. Uh, so let me start off with, um, I want to show you what I've been making and I'm going to start off with my dangles. So I went live a few days ago and I started on these dangles. The only thing is I did not finish them on the live, but I added a bulldog clip because um, I'm going to show you the reason why right now when I take out the Trapper Keeper. This is a Trapper Keeper swamp. It is designed by an original lady. I will link her video down below. And um, Luisa, she uh, changed the measurements on the Trapper Keeper. So, um, you know, I will link her video down so you guys could see her version. I hope you could watch that video so you get inspiration to make your Trapper Keeper. So let me show you what I did here. I added, I made this bow using some um, Hobby Lobby ribbon that I, um, that I went shopping on my birthday. Um, they had picked up on my birthday and then I added these. These are um, from Amazon and they're, um, you add them to your Crocs, but I went ahead and I made them charms. And so I stuck that one there and it looks so cute. It has this plastic uh, lobster clasp and um, added a star, this little lollipop, some beads. And of course this cutie, I got her at the Dollar Tree and just went ahead and added one of these eye pins on here. And it turned out so cute. It has a little pretzel and a little flower. It's so pretty. Let me show you the next. The other, um, Let me show you. This one is Luisa's. And I'm going to show you Eileen's. So the reason why I added the uh, bulldog clip is because I did not want to add here. I didn't, I didn't want to add a, a hole here uh, because there is a divider thingy here. And so it got in the way. So I went ahead and just added that clip there. And so this one's Eileen's and it has a little bit of purple and her little Minnie Mouse. It's it's a little purple. It looks uh, kind of, uh, it looks fuchsia. But in, in real life, it looks, kind of has a hint of purple. And then so I added that Mickey Mouse and the little rainbow. And it just looks so pretty. And this is a Trapper Keeper, guys. Look how cute it turned out. She's already Chunky Monkey. I do have to add um, the banner in here. But um, let me open her up so you guys could see uh, this Trapper Keeper. Let me give you the measurements of it because I haven't even said uh, it is about eight and a half by 10. And the width, it's about one and three quarters or one and three fourths. So it's super cute. I made it a shaker. So it has a shaker all over on the spine. I added to Eileen's. I did add this trim here. On Luisa's, I did not add it. I did not add the trim, but I added uh, some die cuts here that I made using my silhouette. Yes, I'm proud of myself. I used some acetate. I used some of these bows from Daiso. Uh, so added some snaps on here. And look how cute. This is uh, Michael's jelly paper that I had in my stash and it says Eileen right here so I love how it turned out so on this trapper keeper here we have this pocket which has a couple of stickers I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to mess things up I added some die cuts here look how cute they are it says happiness is hanging out with my friends because you know how we do lives and we hang out and so it's awesome in here i added a little spoon a mickey spoon and a sequin mix and then i'm starting off here with some page protectors i stitched on um I'm, i stitched i stitched on this page protector and added some embellishments 
and uh, look how cute they turned out i did a little dangle on here now this they could use on a tag flip they could use it to dangle on a project added some bows there that i made and then in the back added some shakers i'm not really going to go into a lot of detail but i used the dies in my stash and i added these i made um with a little purple hint for uh, Eileen and I'm gonna show you uh, Luisa's so I'm just gonna try to go as fast as I can on this video then I made them some shakers you know so they can add on to the projects now when they use them they can still use this folder to add um, their Disney embellishments if they plan on doing um, some embellishments for themselves um, for, pre for future projects so in here, I added a dangle that I had in my stash. Let me take it out. I had this actual keychain in my stash. And all I did is I added some uh, cabochon, some beads, and a little, little Mickey head there. A little purse that Sandra gifted me a long time ago. little star. And it's just so cute. Why not hang it onto your purse? So I just added them in this little Daiso bag, which I picked up with my birthday haul. And let me show you the Memdex. You guys have probably seen it. I posted it on my Instagram, but look how cute. It's a shaker. It says, hooray, the adventure begins. And it's a Mickey Mouse, uh, you know, having a chuckle there. And um, I, <laughs> I made it kind of purple because, you know, Eileen, she's a purple lover. Use the Scrap Diva Designs March uh, Memdex uh, release. And this one is has little bunny ears and little bunny feet. But I did not use those because uh, you could use this uh, for any occasion. I also added this KS Craft um, flag. So cute. I think this one is Janu January release for um, KS Craft. Let me turn the page. So this page is going to have um, the banner, and I'm going to show you that right now. But the last page has a little gift here, which I'm not going to show you here on the on this video. You're going to have to see their unboxing so you can see um, what they got inside of this little bag here. So let me close this Trapper Keeper up. She is a little chunky, but you know what? I'm going to fit the banner in here. <laughs> I'm totally going to fit it in there. So let me show you the banner. So this one's Luisa's Trapper Keeper. It's the same. It just doesn't have the trim on the side. But I added her little um, dangle here. Look how cute it looks all together. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of when I used to be in junior high, high school. I still had my Trapper Keeper in high school. <laughs> so, um, and of course, it's a shaker. And hers is just, uh, it's practically the same. It just has different colors. So for her, she has a little blue spoon and... Um, same embellishments, same uh, bows. Uh, just her, this em these embellishments are pink, and um, and her memdex is pink, and of course she has a little uh, that keychain in there, and uh, she also has that little gift. So here I'm gonna place uh, her banner. And let me show you the banner. How cute! Look at the banner. How it came out. It doesn't fit in the frame. Let me go ahead and see if I could ooh, zoom out a little bit. Okay. I think we I think I'm zoomed out yeah a little bit <laughs> so um my word we chose everyone chose a different word so my word was inspire and um I love I love how it turned out so Luisa's is as you see hers is pink and blue and look how it looks so I use the Scrap Diva Designs uh, Loaded Pocket Large, and inside of the uh, the actual die set, there is a heart. So I use the heart and I die cut it to create the background or the heart. And then I use um, some stars in my stash. Um, I grab this Mickey, I mean, this Disney Castle die here from Amazon, and I use this die on... I die cut all these for the background so I can have the little castle. Then you have the Mickey head right here, which is a punch. And everything else is a punch. Okay, so I punched out some um, scalloped, uh, round scallops and some circles to give it that beautiful um, height to my project or that dimension. 
this was Eileen's suggestion. I added some um, bling for my stash. Yes, girl. And look how cute it looks, Eileen. And then I added just onto the first one and the last one, I added a bow. Uh, reason why is because I want to be able to for them to move this around so I didn't I didn't want to add like a bow in between so I didn't want to restrict the movement of the banner so yes this one is um, Luisa's look how cute right now it's all smushed up but just imagine it um, on their wall and um, hanging so pretty let me um, let me show you uh, one at a time let me so this one here, this one's Eileen's, as you see, they're purple. And look how cute, I love it, I love it. I'm trying to place it on frame. <laughs> so, sorry guys about moving it too much. Um, just wanna give you like a, a view of it kind of hanging and picturing it hanging on the wall. So pretty, look at this. So hers is just purple. Everything else is the same. I did cut out some stars and look how it turned out. So for this video, uh, this is what I'm going to show you uh, for this video. Um, the next video that I post will be of the junk journal. I know you guys got a sn uh, sneak peek on there on my live. And also I'm going to show you the card that I created for them. And that video is going to literally wrap up the whole thing. And I had so much fun uh, creating for this swap. And I hope you guys are inspired and you could just take out your stash and just start working with your Disney stash. Why not? Um, I didn't have that many dies for Disney, but you know what I had here and there and of course I printed out my images from Google and I had a good old time I am so happy that um, I was able to participate in this swap with Luisa and Eileen and I've been inspired So I hope you guys are inspired too. I'll talk to you guys on the next video Bye